Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. This is why we're not supposed to plant here until June 1st. Uh, we got quite the snowstorm coming down. Pretty heavy. Well, so much for spring gardening. We got everything inside and it's going to be freezing for the next seven days and snowing. Winter is back with a vengeance. Well guys, this is two days later. I got the tractor needs some gaskets so that's on standby. I did get the bucket on the other day and I had to go get an arm from tractor supply and it works but I don't have enough range to lift the bucket high enough off the ground to dump it so I was it's amazing that's about a wheelbarrow and a half two wheelbarrow loads right there each scoop it's an amazing tool but I don't have enough lift in the arms to get that off the ground high enough to dump. And I've seen videos, I know it can be dumped. I know it can lift high enough. And these will dump. So, I've got to figure something out with that. I'm not quite sure if there's something wrong with my hydraulics. Or if the bucket is just too big for this tractor. I'm not quite sure. I've got something new paid cash for it and I'm going to use that as a daily driver for my new business that I'm working on. You will also notice there's something missing. The sawmill is gone. I sold that to invest into my new business. So as you all know YouTube isn't paying the bills anymore and I had to do something. So I have a new business and I've, I'm selling everything that I had bought for working outdoors uh, over the past couple years. I've, I sold an arch that I bought for a logging arch. Um, I, I hurt myself pretty bad this winter. I, I overworked myself. I'm really worn out. I pushed myself too hard. I was going to get into the lumber and firewood industry. And uh, Chris and I, we really, really, really worked ourselves to death. And so I'm going to clean up what I've got but I'm not going to do any more. I would like to get a small sawmill though for home use because lumber is through the rough. I do have an Alaskan mill that I plan on using to process up what I have because I do need lumber for projects around the property. Uh, this little Cushman is a very small mini truck. It needs new tires so I'm going to be doing that here soon. Um, it's tiny. It's very tiny. But I'm going to run this as an off-road vehicle, uh, an ATV, because it's $36 for a year. No plates, registration, or insurance needed. And I'm going to use it to run products to the post office every day. Um, literally every day now I'm running products into the post office for my new business. So I will um, tell you about that. I'm finishing up a few websites and things and I'm going to share that with you all in the next day or two here. I've got to do a little bit more testing on my site and then uh, I'll let you in on what I've been up to. But that's why the sawmill is gone and I am, well everything you see out here is going to be gone. I'm selling everything and I'm investing into my new business. Everything is going to go. That's all that's left of the sawmill I had. Just attracts indentation where it was. I don't know if I talked about this the other day or not. I don't know because I've really been busy online and wheeling and dealing and, bu and well, buying and selling. I'm buying equipment for my new business and selling stuff to get money to buy my, my new equipment. Uh, there was a sale on treated lumber. Crazy, crazy, insane sale. And I bought it. So I've got enough to finish. Uh, well, not quite yet. I've got to buy more. I've got enough to finish a good share of this fence line right there. I still got to get some more. And I'm looking at some 2x4s right now. I, I'm looking at some uh, 
rough cut lumber because right now it's just because of my body and my condition right now it'll be easier on me to buy lumber than to uh, try to do this by hand um, and I don't have a mill but honestly I, I'm not in the shape to do it right now we uh, Chris and I overdid it we really did so I'm gonna work smart and not hard from now on anyway uh, yeah there's a lot of wood around here we're starting to clean up um, so the uh, the outfeed table is still sitting here. The the guy, well, we were for, forgot. I don't know if he's going to take it or not. I'll find out. But if not, I'll build myself. I'm probably going to build a small mill. I'll show you what I got today uh, for the Alaskan mill. That's going to help me a lot. And then um, when I'm stronger, yeah, a little bit more, maybe another week or so. I'm not sure. When I feel like I'm safe, I'll start cutting up some lumber myself found this guy, a 24 foot extension ladder at a garage sale. I was riding around with a friend just uh, looking for deals and funny enough that's exactly this very morning uh, for those of you who, be you who believe um, I prayed just this morning that I would find a cheap extension ladder for my Alaskan mill and to make tracks for a stationary mill that I have plans for and well there it is it was twenty dollars for a, a 24 foot extension ladder so i have two 12 foot rails uh one will run on my alaska mill and the other one will be tracks for a homemade mill i've been looking online and looking at videos and stuff i want to use the alaska mill now because i have it and i want to use the rails to build a stationary mill and possibly a circular sawmill small very small i just i don't want anything behemoth out here also i've been selling stuff part of the reason i'm selling everything is uh i'm sick of trying to protect everything around here so i, I i'm just uh, it's not it's not possible to defend your stuff and i'm tired of losing sleep at night so it's all going to go i'm just going to get rid of it all and uh then i'll have the fence up for privacy and security but for now, I just want to be able to sleep at night and not run around. Because every time there's a false alarm goes off in the night, running around trying to figure out who what is there. It's usually a mouse, but I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of it. You can't protect this much stuff. It's all going to go. Everything's going to go. Um, everything I have now is going to be concentrated in one place. Um, my garage is now my workshop and my office and everything. And I'm concentrating everything there. My whole business is there now. And that's easily, more easily defendable, easier to protect. And uh, that's it. That's it. I'm just, I'm working smarter, not harder. I uh, am still working towards self-sufficiency. Solar power. It's getting about time to tip them a little bit higher. But uh, solar power is pumping. I'm going to expand solar panels here. Once I've got, um, I'm finished investing into the business, the stuff I'm setting up, I will get more solar panels and uh, continue mining more cryptocurrency on solar, more and more and more. It is very profitable and nothing anybody can say changes that. Uh, it is what it is. It works. And I'm going to keep going. As long as it's profitable, I'm going to keep going. Well, I think that's it, guys. We finally have a blue sky. I am out in a t-shirt, but it's only 40-something out. Uh, we've had brutally cold, freezing nights, and snow, um, but it melts off in the day. And today is the warmest we've had in two days. This is our third day since it turned cold. And uh, blue skies again. It's nice to see. Um, I'm out in a t-shirt, but it's a little cold. And the snow melted off. But I know some people are mowing their lawns, and we don't even have grass yet. That's better for us, I guess. Well, this is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. I'm going to get back in and continue working. Hopefully, I'll let you know what's going on here really, really soon. My new business and why I'm getting rid of everything. I tell you what, though. Oh boy, it was hard to let that mill go. That wasn't easy. But I need the money for this business. So, it's gone. Well, guys. Now the day is coming to a close. The sun is setting. Melanie and Michelle ripped down the 
broken greenhouse. We're gonna send that back. I went and got a load of rough sun lumber. Three dollars a piece. Really good price. The um, big lumber yards, uh, the one I looked at, uh, big store, is six dollars and seventy-five cents a piece for a two by four. I paid less than half that. And then I got right to work. I uh, didn't record because I wasn't sure what I was doing yet. And I didn't have a, a pattern yet. Now I feel better. I'm confident. No, wait. Uh, anyway, so now I feel more confident in what I'm doing. And next time I work on this, I'll record. But it looks good. Really good. I'm using a home built 2x6 that I made on my lumber mill that I just let go to space along the ground and try to follow the ground every six feet so you might see a little dip in the fence here and there I also noticed some of the boards are a little tiny bit shorter than the others they're not all perfect but you know the the dog-eared fence top set sort of takes your eye away from that it's from any imperfections well, that's beautiful this is the backside I am happy the girls are happy and uh, we're going to have privacy in here, finally, and safe, peace and safety. But the sawmill, um, selling the sawmill in part paid for this as well as my business. So um, I had to do it, but then we'll have peace.